murder investigation of a UMKC student from Shawnee continues tonight. Good evening. I'm Mark Clegg. Elizabeth has the night off. Shawnee police say they're not getting the leads they hoped for from the public. So they're now looking for clues everywhere, including searching the pond in front of the victim's apartment. Christina Medina was there as the search began. She's joining us now live from Skytracker. Christina. Hey, Mark. Yeah, we are flying over this small pond right in front of the apartments. Now, they've been out here all day looking for something that might bring them just one step closer to solving the case. The underwater rescue and recovery team is searching through the murky water here at the Prairie Lake apartment complex in Shawnee off of Lackman Road. There's no visibility down there, so he has to search everything by hand. They're looking for the murder weapon or anything that may answer the questions, who killed 22-year-old Chris Dodson and why. He doesn't have a, a criminal background, nothing to indicate that he was in any type of illicit activity um, seems to be just a, a true victim here. The college student was also working two jobs. When he didn't show up for work earlier this week, his mother got suspicious, went to his apartment, and found him dead. I was terrified. I mean, you don't normally hear something like that. While people who live at the complex are still shocked, police are now trying to pinpoint when he was killed. Based on surveillance video of him at the U.S. Bank off Mauer Road in Shawnee Sunday night at 9.45, plus his last Last post online was around midnight. Police think he was killed early Monday morning. We do have his computer. We're, that's being analyzed as we speak. We're hoping that information from that may lead us to something. I'm just guessing here, but maybe it was a situation where he met somebody online that we have that no, none of his family or his friends uh, knew about. For now, they're hoping to find something that can lead to more answers. And they tell me that they will continue looking for clues until the sun goes down tonight. Reporting from Skytracker, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.